Hi ho friends, and welcome to the Snug Bungalow Holiday House Tour 2022. We are going to start out with some Muppets, of course. I have some vintage cards framed and hung, along with a vintage plaque. Those are all from my childhood. And then I have an entire tree devoted to Muppet and other Jim Henson creation ornaments. There are lots of vintage ornaments on this tree, but some of them are newer. Hallmark is still producing Muppet ornaments. This is my wire baker's rack. And in this room, I really like to use those classic Christmas colors of red and green and mix in some of that minty jadeite color that I love so much. Uh, this is some of my vintage ornaments. I don't go hog wild on the vintage ornaments. I like to pick them out one by one. And this is basically where I display all of them. And those are mercury bead garlands that you see hanging down there. The fresh cut sign is actually from Target a few years ago. And this tiny red tinsel tree was also from Target many years ago. And it is decorated with a mix of old and new miniature ornaments. My favorite is right at the top, this guy. I found him at the bins. This is a vintage card that I loved and framed and then I painted the frame to match. This red wreath situation is actually made of metal, it's aluminum, and I have another one in a gold color. These little snow babies are vintage. The tree is a tin and it's not vintage. The Brox tin in the back is vintage and sadly it is my only Brox item thus far. This silver tree was made by my friend Heather and behind it is a plaid tin. And then up here is where I keep my collection of vintage Christmas pencils, which I absolutely love finding. Behind it is a Herself the Elf card from the 80s. Kermit the Frog is actually a stocking holder. The thing next to him is a pop-out Christmas card, a 3D card. And the mice at the top were a series that Hallmark did in the 70s, I think. Here's just another little display using those classic Christmas colors. Most of what you see is old, although not all. I got this Santa and reindeer that are wood uh, for a dollar. That was a fantastic find. The tree that you see on the left, the glass one, is actually an Avon bottle, and so are the bells, the red bells up there, vintage Avon. And moving upward, the tree that you see in the middle is an Avon candle holder. Told you I love Avon. This is just a little holiday village scene that I like to set up. Most of the miniature figures that you'll see are either from Hallmark or Avon. This teeny tiny candy cane garland was made by my friend Lulu. And up here, the ceramic is a Holt Howard ceramic that I got for a dollar because it had a repair. This house is wood and the other one like it is also. I think that they came from a train set, uh, maybe in the 50s or even the 40s. The barn is from Target and it is made of metal. This is my mid-century plant stand that will never see plants because I just killed them all. Um, I have a collection of great stuff here, mostly vintage. This mid-century tin I found in the bins. And I've just collected the other stuff over the years. Lots of cute tins. I love a candy stripe and some fun vintage candle stuff there on the bottom. This is a sort of candy look area. I told you I really love candy stripe stuff, anything that looks like candy. Um, and here is some proof. Most of this stuff is vintage. 
Um, some of it was not vintage when I bought it, but is now because I'm old. This little uh, treat tree looks like it has bonbons on it, but they are ornaments. And then this little guy is just one of my very favorites. I really like the color scheme bringing a little bit of pink in. Down here is where I keep my um, mouse collection, <laughs> my Christmas mouse collection. Um, I think most of them were made in the 1960s. My rule of thumb is that if anything looks like it was made by a person who might have been on drugs, that happened in the 1960s. Uh, the reindeer in the middle is a ceramic planter. Oh, they're so cute. I love them. I wish I had a million of them. Down here, I have some jadeite and some mercury glass garland along with some vintage honeycomb ornaments. And then down here, just like Halloween, I set up a little town, but for Christmas this time. I love setting up a tiny town. The brick elements there are actually cardboard blocks for children, and they add a little height, which is nice. This is my main display case, and this is the first door. Again, we have a lot of the classic red and green Christmas colors and a lot of Santa Claus. I really like the graphic appeal of a cartoony Santa Claus. The one in the middle here is a package tie-on. And I absolutely love the colors of this vintage Christmas tape. So delicious. I have a bunch of mid-century pieces in here, including these tiny Holt Howard Santa head mugs. There's some more mercury bead garland in the back there. This large Santa in the middle is actually a cookie jar, and the one on the left is from Avon, from the 80s, I think. This is the second cabinet, and as you can see, we have more jadeite, and we have more mid-century ceramics, and the two candles on the side are girly candles, I think. We've got lenticular Santa face cups in the back. In the front, we have Holt Howard Santas driving little cars. I think this middle Santa is actually from Target. And then this Santa is a Tootsie Roll Santa and his hat comes off and he is a storage container. Behind him are some more awesome Christmas tapes. This is the third and final door of the cabinet. As you can see, we've got a lot more retro stuff. We've got matching Mr. and Mrs. Santa mugs back there, and that's a Rossboro candy container. Santa on the sled. I bought that Holt Howard starry-eyed pitcher for 75 cents at a church sale a number of years ago, so you can still find some insane deals out there. I don't collect much Pyrex, but that is one of my pieces there in the middle. More lenticular eyeball Santas. And this last part is just a complete hodgepodge. The last thing that I'm going to show you is this Christmas garland that I put up on my banister each year. And it is full of vintage Christmas corsages that I collected over a very long period of time. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I hope you have a holiday season full of delights, no matter how you choose to celebrate. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment and let me know what you think. I'll see you again next time and until then, I invite you to go out and find treasure.